Hola amigos, Ghost here and today we're continuing our Let's Play of 1971 Project Helios. Last time both parties had united together in a common cause to find Doc Dr. Margaret, even though both uh, groups have their own reasons for finding her. And we'll see what happens when we eventually find her, but uh, yeah, we're moving on to the next mission, or level. Oh, and here is the character select. You can select three characters. So in this mission, Dami is required. And I think I will be taking Alexi since he's the most upgraded. I will take Ami since we never really got much chance to try her out. And after that, I will take... I think I'll take him. No, uh, wait. Mm. Yeah, I'll take a meal. So yeah, let's go to the next mission. Level five, core of Del Delphos three, day four. So Nova is south of there. Thebes is that way. Delphos is that way. Interesting. All right. Makes like a triangle at this point. Oh, and we're already here. Yeah. Sound like my voice cracked a little bit just then, Jesus. It looks like a oil rig of some kind. We can go that way. And it looks like we could also go this way. I'm not sure which way we're supposed to go. Okay, we can't go this way actually. Go this way. Looks like we can go that way, which I will go in a second. I'm trying to, I'm just trying to see where I can go, which ways I can go. I can go this way as well. Interesting. Uh, let's go back over here. There's enemies, so that means either we're getting close by. Hmm. Let me go the other ways then before we go into combat. Because you never know which ones might be a good area to go or which ones not. Oh, it's a... This looks like a battery plant area. Oh, and we ran, ran into combat. This looks like an, a dead end, but there might be something in here for us to grab. Alright, can I blow up two people at once? Yes, I can. And kaboom. Alright, alright. Let me position my character. One of my characters here. And blow this guy's head off. It doesn't kill him. Shit. Uh, we can decrease the damage of attack of one enemy. Bleed it to one enemy in sight. Uh, this costs one SP. Oh, die. Oh, okay. The dog has to go do it. Okay. Bam. Then I'm going to make him fight this soldier so he can die. Bam. Alright, Alexi, you get to cover. Then you take out a guy, take him out. Good shot. And we can't do anything, so let's see what happens. Oh, oh yeah, he can heal himself. But it still will damage him, I believe. Maybe he'll take some damage. And he's moving up to also do some damage. Ow. 
But he also, the guy that we cut, he, that healed himself also took some damage, so that's a good thing. And now with the grenade, I can basically fuck all three of them up. Wait, why can't I do it? Oh, it must be too far out of his range, even though it shows that he can do that. Hmm. Move him closer. Oop. And pop him. Boom. And then with you, bite him. Like so. And then we can... And no, not we can. So we're probably gonna pop shot this motherfucker. Like so. Over to cover finally and enter. Okay, he's using himself, using heal, so that means he can't. What? That's some bullshit. You shouldn't be able to do that. Fucking bullshit. Yeah, shoot him in the fucking head. Pow! Alright, what was the item? Sharpening tool, okay. So there was gear here. There's another item. Visor booster, interesting. And there's that, we get ten of that, okay. So there was a reason to come here. Make sure there's nothing else to miss out on. Nope. Alright, let's head back then. And make sure we don't miss out on anything over here. Double check every room. I mean that room, uh, row. Looks like there's nothing, so we head back. So that was that got us somewhere. This will take us somewhere else. I don't know where exactly. Uh, looks like it's locked. Never mind. Alright, let's head back then. So from here, there's that way, but I'm gonna head back up. Because that's where the enemy are, and just make sure there's nowhere else to go. Because I think this is locked, right? Looks like it. Yep, it's locked. Okay, so our only way is that one spot with enemies. Got it. I was making sure. Double checking. Let's see if I can angle this. I see two guys there and a third guy there, so there's probably three or four. There is four. Okay, one was hiding behind there. Got it. Okay. It's a soul dot, so we're facing those. Oh, there's five. I didn't see the other guy. Damage the soul dot. Let's try to focus our attention on the weakest soldier. Unless, uh. Bam. And then we'll cause bleed on him. Because we'll probably not aim try to attack him. Bam. And then with you, we're going to target this Vorhut, which I believe is the sniper of this faction. 
Then we go into Overwatch. From here, there's only one thing we could potentially do, which is grenade. And that's what I'm gonna do. Go kill one of them and injure the other. From here, I will move him. Probably here, next to the dog. All right, then turn. We're getting sniped at. He misses because he's not in a good spot. He hits. That's not good because that sniper could take him out. That one misses, but that one, there's no way he'll miss. Fucking hell! And of course, Overwatch. We gotta heal. Yo, 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 bastard, get up. There you go. Alright, your Overwatch did jack all, but you'll kill the sniper. Fuck him. Uh, then we'll have her. Have her dog kill this guy. And. Does it kill him? Yes, it does. Bam. And then we'll have him throw a fucking grenade. Slap this motherfucker. Bam. Um. Let's get him to take a, the fall for the shot. Take it does hurt him, but we'll kill him. That also allows us to move him up and her as well. That also allows us to move this motherfucker right next to the sniper to smack him. And when I mean smack him, I mean smack him with a shotgun. Pow! Doesn't kill him? What kind of sniper are you? So strong, Jesus! Most snipers are like one shots. He's dead. Gotta have to heal him now. Great. Fucking hell. That is one durable ass sniper. Christ. Thank God he died from the cold. That bitch. <laughs> like, really? Holy hell! That sniper is durable. Take a fucking grenade, you asshole. Take a wolf or a dog. It looks like a husky. Or one of those other dogs. Emil. First Nova and now Defos 3. Domi. Why are Winter Shodan soldiers here? I suspected it. It doesn't matter. What about the rebels? My sensitives foresaw it for sure, and they must have evacuated through the tunnels to a safe place. And if it's like this, they must have taken the rebels with them. As for the Oracle, the Winter Shohin must uh, won't dare to hurt her. We can't. We can reach her, but we need to be careful. We get amplifier headset. Interesting. Ooh, this is a new item. Forearm R band. So you can have multiple of the same item. Okay. It's called just finding them. So it looks like there's two ways. Well, most likely one because I think this is close to us. Yep. So if I look here, can I upgrade? I can upgrade her her bleed ability. And I can't upgrade her his uh, extra precision, but I can't upgrade that either. Okay, making sure. But it looks like you can potentially get more than one item per combat scenario. So now there's two ways to go up here. Wait. Oh, never mind. We can't go up there. So all the only way is this way then. <laughs> They both, they both give you some room and no room at the same time. Oh shit. I thought there was an enemy back there, but there wasn't. But there's an enemy over here. 
There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six in total. And immediately I can do some heavy damage to two of them. Kills one immediately. Uh, move him up. I'm gonna kill this guy. With a shot to the back. Oh, there's another guy behind us. I didn't see him. Oh, it doesn't kill him? It used to. They must have upgraded. Shit. I'm not ready. I'm not. I wasn't prepared for that. Uh, kill the, uh, the healer. Kill the healer. Bam. Then, uh... Oh, I can't wound the guy, other guy. Uh, wound the Rampager. He can't heal himself. Oh no, that's weakened. Ah, uh, crap, I crap, I, pr I pressed the wrong one. Okay, well, uh, headshot. Let's see, 50%, 50, 50. Ah, oh, Jesus, we're in a tight spot, actually. More of a tight spot than I realized. This should at least almost kill him. Bam. And I can't do anything else, so... End the round, we'll see if we die immediately. We only have five of those things left, too. Fuck, Emil, don't die on me! Okay, you take two damage. She almost dies. Fuck. He, okay, okay. They didn't focus fire on one individual, so we could survive. Yeah, they didn't target. We could at least kill two, maybe three of them. No. Because of that. Uh, bite that soldier so we can deal with the others. Because he's the most fragile. Alright, now we make him bleed. I know what I'm about to do will probably make that ineffective uh, for the long run, but it will do some damage immediately. Because what I plan to do is throw a fucking grenade right there once I move a meal. But before I do that, I must hope. I hit the ramp rampager. Bam! Okay. Alright. Emil, move your ass there. And we'll figure out where who you shoot in a second. In the meantime, grenade these two motherfuckers immediately. Bam. Alright, Emil, you have You'll be able to kill him, you'll be able to kill him, and you'll be able to not kill him. I say the Rampage, not the Rampage, the, uh, heal, the uh, healer to get rid of the, any chance of them being able to do anything else to our group. And what I'm going to do is make him move there to make the others potentially target him instead of the others. Because Ami could probably die. She survived that shot, that's good. And he survives that shot. We're good then. We'll live. That Overwatch doesn't make, make give us any better. Uh, grenade. Grenade to his ass. And then shotgun his ass. Pow. And then you snipe his ass. Bam. Amplifier 360. So it looks like now we're starting to get uh, uh, stuff as we uh, kill enemies. We found a document. Five. The free cities. There are three cities. Uh, uh, there are three free cities in no man's land. Thebes. From all the free cities, Thebes is the most disrupted and the closest to the scavenger lifestyle. It consists mostly of raiders and mercenaries, living in a mostly in a mostly peaceful way. Nova, the most social and scientifically developed one of all the free cities. It's a peaceful society and inhabits 
are known as rebels because they form a community that rejects both the Winter Shawhan and the Kepparites, and also the scavenger lifestyle. The Lafohos 3. In this city, the sen sensitives can live freely and learn how to handle and develop their abilities. In exchange, they are required to never leave the city unless they are told and to help them maintain the city. They welcome every person who shows the show signs of being a sensitive, teaching them how to take advantage of it, or being especially intelligent, training them as scientists to later join Nova. Interesting, interesting backstory. More lore, as one would say. Is there anything here? Nope. What's this? Crystallized Fulgur. So that, I think we already had one of those. So now we will be able to upgrade a second time around. I believe we came from this way, right? Yes, we did. Alright, then there's two ways to go. This way, which I will try to head this way now to see. I don't see enemies. Ooh, document. Oh, that's a lot of reading. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Three, state of the art of general scientific research. The two com... com Fuck, I can't speak now. Great. Comp competitor competitors in the scientific development are the Winter Shown and Nova. The Winter Shown, which have managed to man manage the Folger and its refinements, are focused on military industry. From this, they develop alloys using Folger in order to make structures, tissues, and fuels. Its re refinement allows human consumption of the Folger with no risk. As for Nova, the investigations are focused on different obje objectives. The, those have an application in warfare, but they are more focused on improving the quality of life of humans and the study of the possibility of repopulating the earth with wildlife and vegetation. The project that leads th this line of research is known as Project Helios under Dr. Blythe's control. She seems to be obtaining very interesting results in a virtual creation and artificial care of planet plant life forms. If she succeeds, it could be the key to, of, to the salvation of humanity. Of humanity. Four, sensitives. Sensitives are those people who, who develop certain mental skills after ingesting Folger. This has only happened to people who belong to the scavenger villages and the inhabitants of the free cities. Because the winter shown and the Capparites cap ingest Folger in a different way. Beginning in 1948, most of the sensitives live in Delphos, where they learn how to manage their mental skills. So the so the catalytic the cataclysm the apocalypse must have happened during World War II then, because 1948 it was only three years before after the end of World War II. So from what I could think, maybe both the Germans at the same time discovered nuclear weapons and. All hell broke loose after that, or maybe a Operation Unthinkable happened, where the Allies basically declare war on the Soviet Union immediately after the Ger the Nazis and the uh, J Japanese were defeated. Interesting. All right, the skills of the sensitives are vary according to each person, but they can be defined in two groups: the techno sensitives who can switch on and off electric electronic devices, and those known as empaths who are able to influence the me mental and sometimes physical states of human beings. Some sensitives can share both skills, and the subjects of both groups share the ability of healing someone, some way. Some people in no man's land have rejected Delphonus, Delpho, Del I really don't know how to pronounce that word, that city, and among the Caparites, there are people who have similar skills, the monks. The most powerful sensitives of all is the Oracle. It's confined below Dalfos 3, and even the Caparites are scared of it. Interesting. It's a lot of lore that they are spreading out in little tig and little bits. Oh, a telescope. That should uh, help upgrade someone, I think. And we found more Fulgore. Thank God we were running low of that shit. But yeah, that... that this, there's a lot of little Easter, not Easter eggs, lore hidden between with uh, very specific things. Where does this take us? Oh shit! Oh what? What is this? 
What the hell is this? I don't want to go in there because that looks important. So let's go back up here. Where does this take us? This takes us near the enemy that we killed a minute ago. And this takes us back... In here. And if we go over here... There's another... Is that the same document I read already? Yep. This takes us somewhere else. Looks like... There's multiple enemies. I'm gonna go back to that other place first. That looks like either a side objective or... You could potentially grab more rare equipment. I'm not sure. We'll see. Let's head back there. Because that looks interesting. Oh, it's a combat room. Okay. I only saw the one dude, so I thought it was like something unique. Okay. Well, shit. <laughs> that won't do too much damage. We can... Run that sucker right there. Yeah, let's do that. Does the most damage anyway. Uh, hit the officer. There we go. Mm, hit the sniper. Bam. Uh, hit the hit the sniper. I know we made him bleed, but I'm gonna try to kill all of them. Uh, kill all of those guys immediately. Overwatch immediately. Uh, shit. You can't aim for one. Uh, let's see. Sniper. Eliminate him immediately. Headshot kills him. Bam. Alright, end turn. Ow. Emil's fucking dead. Fuck. Ow. They all use their special ability immediately. I thought they would try to move to find better cover. Because... Half of them are basically exposed to death. Yeah, you'll live. Get up. We're really digging the music, though. Okay, okay. Okay, officer guy. Fucking die, please. Oh, are you kidding me? Ah, shit. Well, I'm gonna have to fall back that guy then. Emil. Please tell me you can hit him from here. Fuck. Okay, hit the, hit the fucking sniper then. Uh, move right there, Alexi. Either you'll be able to hit him. Okay, you can only hit him now. Actually, it was the only one you could hit previously anyway. Move yourself there. And let's enter. See what happens. Okay, Emil's dead again. That's lovely. Okay, we're gonna have to restart because I can only revive one of them. Fuck. Yeah, because we only can heal one. Fuck. <laughs> that was my flaw. I used Overwatch for the meal I shouldn't have. Uh. You know what? Let's do the most. Let's attack over here. Let's clear this small pocket so we can move our guys back there.
Nail that. Bam. And I'm gonna move you there, Emil. And hit the hell out you, officer. Bam. Move you there. Can't move her. Uh, put her over there. I know. Let's get. Let's group up our people. Plus, it'll allow me to damage the hell out this officer because I'm gonna. Actually, I'll probably kill him in this one because uh, I'll use the bleed effect. What? Oh yeah, I can only do. Oh, I, I moved her. I forgot. It takes some. Emil's still gonna take some damage, which isn't good. He missed. That's good. He's not gonna miss. Oh, he target. Oh, Lexi. Okay, now Emil dies. So that still doesn't change. Oh no, he stunned Alexi. We're fucked. We're gonna be fucked this turn then. Because we have to move. Yeah, headshot him. Bam. Alright, alright, uh... Bite the shit out of the dog. Alright, bite- dog bite the shit out of him, thank you. Okay, okay, uh, you. I guess grenade is the only thing you got to do. Does a good amount of damage. We still need to move them. Let's move him there. Oh god. We're done for. We lost. <laughs> oh no, we're fucked. I can't pick it. Uh, move there. Yeah, we're fucked. We're gonna have to restart again. <laughs> huh. It's the room. It's honestly the room that fucks me over. Because the angles I have to go to... Yeah, we're gonna avoid that. We're going to avoid that for now. This takes us here, back here. We're gonna, we're just gonna avoid that for now, cause I don't think I have the ability to upgrade my character strong enough for that. Yeah, I don't. The only thing I do is heal. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna head this way. Unless it tells, unless we have to go back the other way, I'm heading over this way. Because with this one, there's more room to maneuver. Control, okay, okay. Got a sniper there, devil there, devil there. I can do decent damage to that. Uh, kill him. If we can clear one side of the room first, we'll survive. That won't kill him. Fuck. Gotta hope that I make it. Fuck you, Emil. 
You piece of shit. You got us killed. And I say this because there's almost no way we're not going to survive. <laughs> we're gonna probably lose two people at once, which isn't a good idea. And then make the de that devil bleed. Because then I'll try to use our other boy, our sniper boy, to kill one of them. That will kill him, that will kill him. Kill the Vargas first. Because he does a lot of damage up close. See, now he's moved him to go heal and to... Uh, now he's op in the open. This guy, on the other hand, is just going to punch Alexi. Because that's all they can do. This guy is going to shoot Emil, which doesn't bother me too much. Emil deserves getting shot after missing. Oh, we get affected by Colt here. Alright. Grenade. Oh, what? Fuck it. Throw it like that. Bam. Say hello to my little friend, pow. I bite the shit out of uh, the dog, of uh, the dude. It should kill him, or at least almost kill him. Okay, it does kill him. I don't know if it'll one-shot him, will it? It will one-shot him. Okay, bam. We survived. Thank God. A Fulgor cannon. Jesus. Wait. Doesn't that mean... I can upgrade you? Yes, I can! So there are multiple of everything, so you can get everyone upgraded at some point in the campaign. Alright. Keep exploring the inner sections. Actually, let me look. Make sure I can up. There's nothing for me to upgrade. Yeah. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Oracle room code. Okay. Fulgar ally dish. Interesting. So I have a key code now. Let's take this full gore. This brings us back down here. Now that I have this uh, slightly stronger weapon for a meal, I'm going to attempt this at once more. I'm going to attempt this one one time again. Bam. Target hit the sniper. Do as much damage as possible. Bam. Uh, snipe. Better to snipe than anything else. And I guess Overwatch will be fine. Yeah, Emil's are most likely gonna die. Which won't bother me too much. Mm. Do the bleed on the sniper because he's gonna die. Uh, next round. It. Unless he moves his character. Because he can't heal. And then I'll use... Uh, 
I'll use weaken on the officer to make it so he doesn't do too much damage to one of our characters. Because the meal is most likely gonna get shot and die. Yep, he's one health basically. He's gonna die. Yep, there we go. Because he's out of cover. I knew he was that was gonna happen, so might as well try to. Oh, everyone taking hits left and right. Doesn't matter. Yep, revive a meal. It helps us out in the long run, I think. Okay, okay. Uh, what will this do? It won't do enough damage. We're gonna target the sniper. Um, let's see, what can I do? I can damage the sniper, or, uh, the, not the sniper, the uh, officer, that's what I'm gonna do. We're probably gonna have either two or three people die, so we have to be very smart, or try to be very smart on this. Weaken the sniper, because I don't think I'll kill him in this round. I'm gonna try to focus on the officer with the last of my weapon. Don't want this that that to, to be just a 50% chance, so I'm gonna move him, and that won't kill him, but it should help us. And then I'm gonna move him there. Uh, fuck. Fuck it, right there. We'll see. We'll see who I can kill, or potentially. It won't kill him, but it will kill that officer. One less officer will help us out greatly. Now there's only two of them. And Ami's gonna die, yep. And so is Emil. We have 10, so I think it will allow us to save both of them. I hope. Yes, I can. Okay, thank God. So I have to kill them. In this round, or we're gonna not win. Ah, <laughs> uh, fucking hell. He can't do shit right now from this angle. Uh, target the sniper first. Plus, it'll give. It what? Oh, he wasn't. Oh, we're lo we've lost. I forgot he was an Overwatch. We're dead. We've lost. GG. I th I had a strategy and I fuck that was my stra oh my strategy didn't work out in the end. Fuck. Injure him. And then move there. Give you some opportunity. We're still gonna lose once I end this turn. Because he's down. Yep. Fuck. Fucking hell. That is so much harder than I suspected. Huh. The only thing I can think of is switching out from weakening and bleed to healing. That's the only thing I could think of doing. That's... Can I have weaken as well? No, I can't. I can't have that either, so... We're gonna swap out, and that's what we're gonna use for her. Precision is... I don't really care. Because these two are much better. I wish squ I can switch squad sites somehow without having to go through everything else. Uh, precision is a terrible thing. But I can't get rid of it without getting rid of Devastate. Which is actually much better. Of a, idea of a thing than this. 
But that will be for next episode, as we're reaching the end of this episode. So, yeah. So far, there's, I'm really loving this the lore, all the documents that provide more lore to the story without having to outright say things and in, in the dialogue and stuff. It, it's kind of I like when lore, uh, stories do that when you can find documents and learn stuff on your own through exploration of the map. But yeah, uh, hopefully y'all enjoyed today's episode. I certainly did. Until next time, this is Ghost, signing out.